Hello friend, welcome to VTutorial, my name is Mahavir. In this video training, we are going to learn how to implement financial accounting and the controlling in SAP ERP system. Before we start, we should understand what is ERP because SAP is a ERP system. We will take one example. Suppose we have a medicine shop. We purchase medicines then we sell on higher price because we need the profit if we sell on the same price or the less price than the purchase price we will be in the loss which we don't want so this is the normal business practice we purchase the medicines and then or the item then we sell we purchase various types of medicines from various suppliers so we need their contact we need the rates uh, we need each information in the return so we maintain the register or if we have a computer so we use any accounting software so we enter and we get all the transactions and we enter all the transactions and we get the reports now after few months we got a good business because we are providing good medicines with less price as compared to the other medicine shops and we are giving very good service as well so now our sales has been increased in the particular period we have a higher sale because we have a higher sale and we don't have much reporting system so it may be possible we are stock out situation we don't have a particular medicines on a particular day if customer come to our shop he ask for the medicines and if we don't have he has a negative impact we ask him to come again then we arrange the medicine as soon as possible so this can be a possible situation for us in a small if we have a small business now after few months we got a good business and now we want to increase our business for increasing the business we need to open more stores so we decide to open five more stores in the different cities now i am the owner i cannot sit in the all stores and i cannot maintain the accounting inventory all things i can be only one place at a time so i need a software i need some system who can manage sale purchase inventory and reporting part okay uh, now we have a uh, five stores and uh, i have a uh, more staff so i need to maintain their salary their personal record and because after few days or the few month or after one year they will ask for the increment so i need to record their performance as well and uh, or some uh, because our business is increasing so we need uh, we have a uh, more transaction so we need more control over it after few uh, month we also start taking orders over the phone and providing the free home delivery service for that we need more staff now it is difficult to maintain the business transactions because we have a uh, more transactions more person and uh, now because we are getting orders on the telephone cust customer need not to come our store they just call it and our tele caller will receive the phone and the order then they will generate the delivery order or generate the invoice then they hand over to the delivery person he visit to their home they uh, hand over the medicine and the bill then they get the money they come to our they come back to the store they hand over the receipt or the invoice duplicate copy or some uh, document and they hand over the cash to the cashier now he adjusts that cash with that particular invoice now the transaction is off but see if we have a hundred of employees like this so it is very difficult to manage the business i cannot maintain all these transactions on the registers we need to maintain the stock purchase delivery sales payment receipt and personal record performance i need to record the fast moving or the more selling medicine so i need to take more stock of these uh, products and if 
we have uh, some products which have a very less sale so we need to uh, keep very less stock quantity of these particular items so these kind of reports i want now just think about the tata company tata is a very big group in, in india even they have a companies in outside india as well they have tata motors tcs they have jewelry showrooms they have a, a voltas is also a tata company they have a i mean i cannot tell you they have a steel uh, steel business uh, and in the tata motors they have a, a car they have a trucks uh, i mean they have uh, so many businesses now just think about the tata group they want to consolidate the balance sheet and the profit and loss of all the companies to see how these groups are growing what is the present uh, shares and you know there's so many reports uh, legally we need to require if the it's a limited company public limited company so we need to uh, give the financials uh, uh, quarterly to the stock exchange or the um, i mean the legal entity so or we have a lakhs of people are working so their personal record their salaries their increments their performance uh, you know just think about uh, the big company the reliance group the uh, the walmart group the birlas group so many uh, airtel vodafone like that these are the big companies and they have a uh, crores of transactions they have to record so they need to control their business so erp system is a package in which they can record your human resource data they can resource they can store the material related data production planning sale planning purchase planning mis reporting and uh, tds taxes there are so many in different countries they have a uh, different legal uh, formalities to fulfill so these kind of transactions can be recorded in the erp and business all business transactions can be recorded in the erp system and we get all the reports as we desire sap can do all these transactions very easily it's a very big software and very popular software all big companies all over the world having the sap erp system in automobile sector the coil sector the banking sector the construction they have oil gas modules so i will explain one by one what kind of modules what kind of functionality sap has so this is the small example of the sap erp system i mean the erp system and sap is a erp system there are many erp systems are available in the market like oracles microsoft dynamics ban and uh, oracle also is a very popular erp system so this is the basic example and uh, the next line is uh, need more control to handle or grow the business i already explained all these things so erp system can handle all these transactions so so i hope you got the basic concept of the erp system now we will move to the next concept